the era of the Jacksonian democracy was a time of great technological development in the United States. The year Andrew Jackson was elected, 1828, was the year the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Company was founded. After that, steam-powered railroads rapidly replaced horse-drawn carriages and canal boats as a means of transportation in America. Then, in 1831, the old method of harvesting grain with a scythe was made obsolete by Cyrus McCormick's invention called the Mechanical Reaper a machine that could harvest grain crops at a very rapid rate. A few years after the reaper was invented, Hiram and John Pitts patented a combine machine for grain farmers. This invention combined harvesting and threshing, which is the process of beating the grain to separate the edible kernels from the inedible stalks and husks. Back then, threshing was occasionally accomplished by running horses over stalks of grain placed on the threshing floor of a barn. And today, the processes of harvesting and threshing are still combined in modern farm machines like the one seen here. A few years after the combine was patented, a man named John Deere invented a wonderful steel plow that could cleanly cut through the heavy soil of the American prairies. Taken all together, the new plows, combines, and reapers enormously sped up the agricultural revolution that had begun in Europe the century before. The new machines made it a lot easier and faster to farm big plots of land and, as a result, helped to greatly increase the world's supply of food. Two other extremely important inventions were also developed at the time Andrew Jackson was president. One was the telegraph, a forerunner of the telephone. It was the first device to use wires and electricity to send messages over long distances. The other invention, which was perfected in France in 1837, was photography, an ingenious process that used light to create an exact image of a subject on a chemically treated metal sheet. These first photographs were called daguerreotypes, after their inventor, Louis Daguerre.